Guys, what's going on, man? Happy, uh, I don't know what day it is, Wednesday probably. Uh, it's email day, baby. I send my weekly email out every single Wednesday. That's how I know it's Wednesday. Uh, by the way, I do a $250 giveaway. It's a scholarship this quarter, and I'm pulling it on March 18th. So that's, what, three, four weeks away. If you guys have any interest in a $250 scholarship, just DM me. Uh, for all you guys on Facebook, DM me your email address. If you're on YouTube, just email it to me at uh, findafloridahouse at gmail.com, and I'll get you on that list. So today we're talking about time blocking, man. And the reason I'm talking about time blocking is I've talked with a lot of people. i got a lot of realtors that I work with. But honestly, I've got a lot of salespeople, a lot of business owners. I would guess 90, 95% of the people that I'm surrounded with are some sort of business owner, right? And you're going to see how this easily ties in with you guys. For the other 5, 10% who are not small business owners, you've still got goals in life that you want to achieve. You got things you want to go after. You got things you want to do. You got places you want to go. I sound like a Dr. Seuss book. And uh, it's not that you can't do it if you don't time block. It's that I see a lot of people over time coming up with justifications, excuses for why they didn't find the success and get the stuff done that they wanted to do. When really it comes down to a couple things, but one of those things is just laying out your schedule, putting tasks to time and executing. I think another big problem that people run into, and this helps with time, this is what time blocking helps with, is people think too much throughout the day. They think, should I be on Facebook doing some Facebook stuff? Or should I be calling people? Should I be door knocking or making pretty flyers? Or should I be at the gym? Or should I be like meal prepping? What should You shouldn't be thinking, right? CEO you, whether it's CEO of your business or CEO of your life, or probably honestly CEO of both, uh, that person should spend 15, 20 minutes every day making the day for tomorrow so that employee you, right? You in the body do execute, achieve, go after all the things that CEO you created the day before, right? So right now is the day before tomorrow. So when I wake up tomorrow morning, I don't want to think, I don't want to think at all. I want to pop out of bed because I'm so damn excited about all the big things I got going on. And all I'm going to do is execute whatever we're about to create right now. There's going to be zero thinking, man. I'm going to, I'm going to wake up. I'm going to pull my piece of paper up. I'm going to look at it and I'm just going to execute. And when it says it's time up, I move on to the next thing. I don't think at all. And there's going to be a 15, 20 minute session tomorrow where I set aside a little bit of time for CEO me to write down exactly what it is I'm going to do Saturday, right? And I do this every single day. Now, before I get into this, I'm going to go off for 60 more seconds about this. I think a lot of people look at time blocking and if they've never done it, the instant reaction is, Ugh. I feel like I've got a ball and chain attached to me. I feel like I'm in prison right? They feel like they are a slave to the schedule. But I'm telling you right now, if you're looking for real freedom, I don't care what kind of freedom it is, right? Freedom to go do whatever it is you want, freedom with your time, freedom with your family, financial freedom, whatever the freedom is that you truly want. If you want to get it, you need to own your time. If you don't own your time, somebody else does. And you don't even know who it is, honestly. And it changes throughout the day. Sometimes it's the guy at the coffee shop bending your ear for an extra 23 minutes. Sometimes it's your grandma who calls you. And sure, you can give grandma 10 minutes, but she just took 73 minutes. And now you missed on all your daily prospecting, or you missed on sending your email out, or you missed on something that matters. So it's really important to get the day built today so tomorrow you can just execute. Yvonne Jones, one of my favorite people on the planet, man. Uh, great business coach, honestly, life coach. Says plan your day the night before so you hit the ground running the next day. Great point, man. Great point. I love that. So let's get into it, right? This isn't a, we did enough BSing. This isn't a BS video. This is a how-to. Let's show it. Now, I've never done a screen share on this platform. So let's see how good Joe is. I have no idea how good I am, man. So I'm going to pull up a couple of things, right? And I want you guys in the comments, if you can just tell me if this is actually working. But what I've got here is, I'm hoping, oh, I see what you can see. Mm, can we make it bigger? There we go. Okay. Let me know if you can or cannot see this. I think you can see it right now. But what this is, is this is my schedule for the other day, right? 
And so I'm going to look through this and let's, first of all, I'm going to make it for tomorrow, February 27th. Okay. Now there are a couple things I'm pulling from. The first thing I'm pulling from is today's schedule. And with today's schedule, all I'm looking for is little notes that I made throughout the day because no schedule is perfect, right? You look at a schedule and if you can hit 80, 90% of it, I'm telling you guys, you're crushing it, man. Don't worry about perfection. Just worry about constantly improving. Get 1% better every single day. So when I look at this schedule right here, uh, from today, I'm looking for any notes where I said, hey, I'm going to give myself 30 minutes, but I needed 45. I'm going to move when 30 minutes comes, but I'm going to write a note. Hey, next time you put this on the schedule, you need to give yourself 15 more minutes. All right, cool. Or maybe I gave myself an hour for something that only took me 20 minutes. I'm going to write that. Only need 20 minutes. Awesome. Now, next time I do it, I can plan it, man. It's just like a budget, but it's a budget for your time instead of a budget for your money, all right? So that's the first thing I'm looking at. The second thing I'm looking at, does it show this? What's in the screen? No, it doesn't show this. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Man, you guys are really, how do I hide this? Testing me today. Okay. Hmm. Remove from screen. Okay. Dude, I'm, I'm going to figure this out, man. Let's come back here. Go to here. Am I not going to be able to figure this out? So I've got an Excel spreadsheet. How do I get rid of this? How do I get rid of it? How do I get rid of it? How do I get rid of it? Okay, so I bring this up. Oh, I think I did it. I did it. I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Okay, so the other thing is <clears throat> it's not working. Why is it working? Hmm. I'm getting frustrated now. Okay, so the other thing is an Excel spreadsheet, right? The Excel spreadsheet is a document that shows uh, all of the things that I do on Monday, all the things that I do on Tuesday, all the things that I do on Wednesday, the things that never change. And because those things never change, I don't need to put them. Dude, did I get it? I got it. All right. I don't need to put them in my calendar and clog up my calendar right? Because I don't want to clog up my calendar on my phone. So right now I want you to focus on this area up here. Okay. So this is Monday. These are all the things that I do on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and I don't work on Sundays, right? I take the day off on Sundays and that's family day. So right now uh, we are looking at Thursday, right down here. The number one thing that's going to hit my calendar is cold calling. Okay. And I already know now I'm going to skip ahead. So I'm looking at today's schedule with all the notes. And I'm telling you right now, my schedule today doesn't have any notes. It was a pretty good day. It was a solid day. Uh, the second thing I'm looking at is this, I call this my weekly tasks. Okay. And Hey, at the end here, if any of this stuff is something that you want, I mean, it's all pretty simple. Just ask me, I'll email it to you. I'll send it to you over Facebook, whatever it is you're looking for. So you don't have to recreate the wheel. You got it. The third thing that I'm looking at is my, my calendar. So I've got on my calendar this. I'm sorry, this right here. This is on my calendar, okay? And then the fourth thing I'm looking at is the note section of my phone. And it's just little tasks that I gotta get done at some point. Here it is, right here. I gotta get laundry done. I gotta get some guest passes for some people and I gotta look into some health inf uh, insurance info. Uh, about I'm at EXP now, right? So I got to look into their health insurance and get that out to some agents that are interested. So those are the things I got to do. Here's the fifth thing that I do. And this is, this is something I don't see a lot of people doing. I'm flying throughout my day. So I get a lot of texts, uh, emails, um, Facebook DMs, Instagram DMs. And as soon as you look into these things, you lose the notification, right? It's gone. So if, if you text me and say, Hey, I need you to send me, well, let's say this, send me your weekly tasks that I watched in your live last night. All right, cool. Sounds good. And then I'm going to forget because I'm busy, man. So to ensure that I don't forget while that text is up or that Facebook DM or whatever it is, I just go 
and I take a little snapshot of it, right? And it goes into my pictures. And when I'm creating this, I go in and I look throughout my pictures and I add all of those to this. So I've already looked at all that stuff. We're already good. Um, and, and you can't see that on the screen anyway, but those are all of the things that I'm looking at. There's a lot going on here. So right now we're taking out the notes from our schedule because we didn't have any. I'm taking out the pictures that I saved, but listen, a lot of people, when they go in and look at these Facebook DMs, Instagram DMs, texts, they, they forget about these things. That is the solution I use. If you have a better one, use it. But if you don't, all you got to do is do a screenshot and then get in the habit when you make your schedule of going back through and looking at those screenshots. Okay. So we're looking at three things. We're looking at this guy right here, right? Our weekly tasks. Really, it's just this section right down here. We're looking at what our calendar already says, which is right up here. And then we're looking at the little things that I had in the notes section of my phone. So let's start with, and you can see I've already added some of these things, right? Cold calling. It's so important that I add it every single day to like, it's, it's automated. You, you cannot penetrate that man it's there 9 to 10 30 every single day so the first thing i'm going to do is go back man i don't think i'm going to be smart enough to go back and forth with the applications i'm just not that smart so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you the schedule because you saw the other part now you know what it looks like and uh yeah, I'm just going to show you this. So you can see as I'm building this, right? Um, but just know that I'm pulling from the other thing. So I am going to go to the gym. I wake up at 5.30. I get over to the gym. I'm at the gym until 6.35. At 6.35, I start heading home. Uh, I get a shower and get some breakfast in. I put social media because that's my intent. But honestly, I really have time to do that. Uh, then I've got my 7-Eleven group in the, the morning. So here's a little pitch for the 7-Eleven group. If you are in sales and you know that you would benefit from making your cold calls every single day, but you just hate it, you don't like it, you don't do it, you don't want to do it, but you know you need to, go look up on Facebook, the 7-Eleven Accountability Group. I'm in there every single morning, Monday through Friday at 7-Eleven Live, and I will give you a little bit of motivation, a little bit of inspiration for the day, and I will actually tell you where I'm at with my annual goal. To stay in the group, all you've got to do is 10 calls, calls a week, which is nothing, man. It's nothing. And that's not the intent. I don't want you doing 10 calls a week, but that's the minimum to stay in. And then you got to make a weekly post. It forces people to crush it and get better, man. That's that's the sole goal with everything in my life. So I've got that scheduled up to about 725, right? Now, we've got a little free time because the next thing I've got going on when I go back and look at what... Uh, what it says on my calendar is I've got an 8.40 to 9 o'clock business meeting. Okay? And I try to get that done every day from 8.40 to 9 o'clock so that I can start my cold calls immediately at 9 o'clock. So let's change this to 9 o'clock, 10.30. Guys, I'm going to walk you through this whole process. It is so so simple. Now, anytime there's a gap, we're going to actually make a physical gap here so I can go and fill it in with all of the other stuff that we haven't added yet, right? So now I've got DJ training. That's my wife. And uh, she works with me. And we're going to walk through and do some training together from 1030. Oh, man. From 1030 to 1130. 11.30, DJ training, all right? Now let me go back and look. The next thing I've got on is a lunch with Becky. Okay, so we're going to come back over here. And I got a noon lunch with, and I'm going to try to get out of my military time here for you guys. It's tough sometimes. Popcat with Becky Salazar. And right here, I got a little window, right? Because I honestly live three minutes from Hopcat. So I'm going to fill that with something else that I need to get done. Uh, then I've got showings with Greg Alexander at 1.30. And those are on the east side of town. So I'm going to have to leave right away. Now, here's a great little trick that I use too, right? 
Because if I put in here 130, I'm not going to know tomorrow. Is that a 130 showing? I might not leave on time to get over there. So I'm going to block off from one. And if the showing's at 130, that means we'll be there till two. By the time I get back here and actually get to work, it's going to be 230 again. That's how I block it off. Showing with Greg Alexander. All right. But here's the trick. I'm going to put 130 showing. So now when I look at my schedule tomorrow, there's no question of what time the showing is. Is it at 1? Is it at 130? I see it's a 130 showing, but I can see also, oh, I gave myself a half an hour to drive over there and actually get it done. Okay, cool. So now it's 2.30. Uh, the next thing I've got on my schedule is a ribbon cutting ceremony. So we're going to go boop, boop. And this is at 4.45 to 5.30. Ribbon cutting ceremony for new chiropractor. Now, I can't tell you which chiropractor it is because I'm married to Dr. Chad Neald of Neald Family Chiropractic. I love that guy, man. So this is the chiropractor we shall not talk about. <laughs> I love you, buddy. All right. So that takes care of everything that's on my calendar. So now I'm only looking at two more things. I'm looking at my weekly tasks, right? Everything that's got to get done on Thursday. And then I'm looking at that little list of things that was on my notes. So let's go through. Um, I'm looking at the little list of notes. And those are things that there's a small chance I can get done tonight yet. Um, and I would say that they are probably the least important things. Here's something to learn too. You guys, a lot of times are going to have more tasks on your plate than you can actually complete. That's okay. In fact, that's a good thing. It's better to have more than you can handle than not enough because you will find that you will push yourself to be extremely efficient and get more done than you ever thought you could get done. Whereas if you make it easy on yourself and you have less tasks than you think you can get done, you're going to be so easy on yourself, man. You really are. So buck up. I learned that from uh, a guy who was a ranger and he was a special forces major in the army. The guy crushed it. I remember saying while I was at DLI, the Defense Language Institute in Monterey, California, and the washout rate there was like 83%, man. It was tough. And I said, dude, I want to, I didn't call him dude. <laughs> he was a major in the special forces. I said, sir, I really want to go to college and get my master's degree, but holy smokes, this is tough too. And he said, buck up. The more you put on, that's how he talks. The more you put on your plate that he didn't have that accent at all, the more you'll, you'll achieve. And I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense. But I bought into it. I did it. And now I'm a firm believer, man. Just load up your plate with stuff and you will be surprised at what you do. Okay. So I'm looking at Thursday, the next, cause I, I prioritize these tasks, right? Cold calling was number one. The next most important is my CRM. I know I've got about a half an hour that I need to spend with my CRM. And I can't really call my CRM before, well, I shouldn't say I can't, but I don't want to call them before 840. So I am actually going to look for the next gap. Right here, I might be able to get that done, honestly. Uh, so we're going to put that in there. That's good. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it to 1150 CRM. And then I'm going to change this, just like I told you I was going to do earlier, right? 1150 and I'm going to put uh, 12 o'clock upcat with Becky, right? So now I know it's at 12 o'clock, but I need to leave at 1150 so I can get there about 1153 and I'm early. Okay. So we got that done. Team building. I'm not going to explain what that means, but I need to do some team building. So we will put that right here and I'm going to give myself half an hour. And guys, listen, I get married to these times. So like I said today, right? Too many people, here's the problem with, well, what if team building takes 45 minutes and you allotted yourself a half an hour? Just, just do the other 15 minutes, right? No, shut it down and write a note that you need to give yourself 45 minutes instead of a half an hour. Otherwise, what you're going to do is you are going to find excuses. Your brain finds ways 
to, to go towards comfort. You're going to find the most comfortable, simple thing to do. And I can tell you in business and in life, the comfortable thing is almost always the thing that gets you to progress the least. So go after discomfort, man. So I, Hey, at three o'clock team building is shut down. It is done. And, uh, I'm going to move right into the next thing. And if it wasn't enough time, then I will write a little note that says, Hey, you got to give yourself some more time. The next thing is business meeting. We've already got that on there. The next thing is my stat of the day. So I do a stat of the day every single day, uh, Monday through Saturday on Instagram and Facebook. Boom, boom. To... Here's another thing. I always give myself like that probably will take me 15, 20 minutes. Uh, but I always give myself a little more time than needed because I'm going to I'm going to get phone calls throughout the day. I'm going to get Facebook or Facebook. Well, yeah, Facebook DMs. I'm going to get emails, all that kind of stuff, right? And I'm not going to have time to respond to all that stuff. So I pad a little bit extra time and then I rush through everything. And if I get my CRM done at 1143, I'm going to spend the next seven minutes looking through texts and emails. If I get my stat of the day done at 317, I'm going to spend the next 13 minutes going through and getting all those stuff, uh, all that stuff caught up on, right? Uh, okay, what else we got? Create tomorrow. See, so on my schedule, it's telling me to create another schedule. So we are going to... Now, I pad a couple things together here on purpose, and they don't usually take an hour, but I'm going to give myself an hour. Create tomorrow... And then I record all my prospecting. Um, I've never done this consistently, and I'm starting this January 1st. Um, just tracking all the calls I make, how many conversations, how many emails did I get, how many people did I put on my CRM, how many listings did I get, how many buyers did I work with, how much money did I make? And then I can work it backwards and say, okay, so every time I do an open house, it's worth $83. Every time I do a, I'm not going to go any deeper on it, but I'm telling you, if you track, I don't care what industry you're in, Right. If you track the actions you take, how much time you put into those actions and you work it backwards after a lengthy amount of time, right? Six to 12 months, you can see which actions are actually making you how many dollars per hour. So again, going back to the, your mind is always chasing comfort thing. You're going to want to naturally do the things that are easiest and most comfortable in your business. But almost always, those are the things that are going to make you the least amount of dollars. Not always, but usually. So if you track it and you see it, there's no arguing with it. You can see, holy smokes, this really cool, fun thing that I love makes me seven bucks an hour. But this thing that I absolutely despise makes me $163 an hour. I need to quit doing that $7 an hour thing. Maybe hire that out, right? And then I need to spend more time doing that $163 an hour thing. So that's why I record my prospecting. Um, create tomorrow records. Okay. Update and deliver the DJ crush it list. I'll explain what that is here in a second. Update, deliver DJ crush it list. So DJ is my wife and I just give her a list of all the stuff I need her to help me with throughout the day, right? That list changes throughout the day. So I am going to, uh, update that list and give it to her in this time block. And then she'll have it waiting on her desk in the morning. And that's how she knows right after this 8.40 to 9 o'clock business meeting, she just gets to work on that list, man. She just attacks that list. And uh, I tell her every day, honey, you're crushing it. So we call it the DJ crush it list. Man, she's an animal. And then uh, you guys may not know this, but behind me, this isn't a building I'm in. Everybody thinks I'm in a building. I'm not in a building. It's a vinyl backdrop. If you guys are doing videos and you want to know where to get those, let me know. I got them on Amazon. I think it cost me 40, 45 bucks. It's amazing material and uh, it's super helpful. Looks sharp, man. Uh, but my wife hates it. So I have to clean up studio. Oh, there you have it. Okay. So all of that leads me up to 4.30. So let's just give myself 4.45. But I'm telling you, I can do more than this in this. Oh, this is a good one. So I'm going to steal this one. I always have this, right? Clean up notes, email, and pics. This is basically my time 
to go through and catch up on anything throughout the day. Throughout the day, while I'm doing all these things that matter, uh, I've had clients, people that really need information from me, whatever, getting in touch with me. I got to get back to them, man. I got to give them the answers they're looking for. So here's a little slot of time where I can catch up. Okay, so I'm going to delete some of this stuff. Do, 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 do. Okay. This I did not do. Save videos to Google Drive. I need to do that. Right now I'm saving all my stuff on my laptop. So if you are my competitor and you want to crush me, just sneak into my house tonight and ruin my laptop. I'm screwed because <laughs> that's where everything is. Uh, again, just moved to EXP and uh, we've got all kinds of things on our list that need to get done off of there. So I'll just follow up with that and then call transparency. You guys don't even care about, so I'm not even going to talk about that. Okay. Okay. So we gave ourselves plenty of time, right? So now I got a little gap up here. Um, I rarely get this done in this time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 7, 25 to 8 o'clock. Um, I'm going to call it catch up time. So catch up time is for me to go through and just, again, any emails, DMs that I get through the night, anything like that, I can catch up on it. I can try to skip ahead to this 3.30 to 40, uh, 445 area, and I'm just going to work through this list and get like, I can't create, well, I could, but I probably won't create tomorrow right here because I don't know what's going to happen here, right? I'm not going to do my record prospecting part because I haven't even prospected yet. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can do this. I can do this. And even though I didn't tell you what this is, I can do this. So I'm probably going to start from the bottom and just focus on these things during this catch up time, right? Uh, and that gives me till 840. And then from 840, or I'm sorry, 8 o'clock to 840. I still need to, okay, so now I've added everything except those three things that were in my notes. One is laundry. I'm not going to lie. I hate doing laundry. I hate that I got to do my own doggone laundry. If I put laundry in at 8 o'clock, I got to check it. So I'm just going to do this. Laundry in dryer this is so embarrassing to write on here <laughs> and then uh that takes care of laundry guest passes health insurance okay so here i'm gonna put that 5 30 i'll be done but honestly by the time i get back so we're gonna go uh five o'clock ribbon cutting and then We're going to do 5.30 to 7 o'clock. So listen, guys, here's where my pitch about you getting freedom comes into play. Um, a lot of people in my position, right, you're, you're running a business and you want it to be absolutely monstrous, are not spending the time with their families that they need to. They're not going to the gym. They're not doing the things they need to. I've got an hour up here for the gym. That's for me. It's for my body. It's for my mind, right? And during that time, I've got a book on Audible going in my ear that entire time. The entire time I'm learning something new every single day and it's motivating me, right? Down here, I know it says 5.30 to 7, but that's because I'm driving from this ribbon cutting ceremony. So I'm going to have an hour, 6 to 7. I give my family an hour every single night from 6 to 7. And we just, we spend some time with each other, man. And I completely shut off everything electronic. If it's electronic, it's off. The email's off, the phone's off, the TV's off, everything's off. We eat dinner, we talk about their day, and we, give me maybe 10, 15 minutes, I'll be off. And we, uh, we just have a good time, man. So I really encourage you guys to throw that stuff on your schedule too, if it matters right? Which for a lot of you, it does. Okay. So now I got all this open. This I got done already, but I do still need to do this. So I'm going to leave that on there. 
but we got to change this from seven to nine. So again, family folks, I give my my uh, family an hour every single night from six to seven. And then here comes my favorite time. Of the, well, I don't know. That might be my favorite time. This is probably my second favorite time. It's called DJ time, baby. And that's time where I spend with my my wife and just love her up, man. Rub her feet, get her a glass of wine, make her some popcorn. We watch a bunch of sappy crap on TV. Whatever makes her happy, man. But that is the time where I really give her whatever she wants. Because that's it. That's all I get, man. I get that one hour. Because this hour right here, I, I mean, I'm literally with her. But if you guys have kids, you know that I'm not really with her. Like, here's my hour with her, right? So we really try to spend time, play cards together, play games together, shut everything off and talk about life, whatever it is. Um, okay, so we got our day pretty much planned out, except I'm missing two things. Uh, guest passes and health insurance info out. Yeah, I got to fill this up right here. So guest passes, and I already got the health insurance info. I just got to get it out, insurance info. Oh, and that's Alex and that dude on IG. I don't know what his name is, so I'll have to go look him up. So there it is. That's my schedule for tomorrow, right? Now, there's a couple things I got on the bottom I want to go over with you guys. The first thing is long-term tasks. So this is stuff I want to do, but... I haven't gotten it done yet, and it's it's something where I might have to break into a couple days, right, and just do an hour or two a day for, for a couple weeks or whatever it is. Team building, I've already got on a separate list that's on that Excel spreadsheet I was looking at, so I'm going to get rid of this. Uh, the Bob Hogue course is a real estate continuing education course that I'm in whenever I have a little free time, which is literally never. I try to go in it pretty much if I'm brain dead and I'm just like, dude, I'm not working on anything. I'll just open this course and work on this. Uh, here's some technology stuff that I want to spend a little time researching to get better. Uh, more technology stuff I want to look into get better. Uh, I want to look into starting an HSA. Jeff uh, Schneider, possibly the smartest doggone accountant on the planet. If you guys need an accountant, let me know. The dude is smart. Like I'm number smart. I'm tax smart. I'm obsessed with that stuff. When I talked with that guy, he made me feel great guy, not because of his demeanor or anything like that, just because of his extreme intelligence. I was like, man, I don't know a doggone thing. This guy's amazing. And then video list, because throughout the day, I'll be walking around and somebody will have a question, a buyer, a seller, a friend, whatever. And I'll be like, you know what? I've never done a video on that. That's a great question. So I'll write it down. So right now, I owe my buddy Josh Belmore a video on Florida ownership. So I'm going to talk about local taxes and what as is really means. Guys, if you don't know what as is means in, in real estate, it doesn't mean what you think. Go look up on YouTube, the Joe Rosen Show, as is, and you can find out what it really means. And then uh, create automated training for new employees. So I'm trying to start a team here. I'm not trying. I will start a team towards the end of the year this year. And when I do, I don't want to invest 60 minutes going over something that I could literally create a video on, right? And if it's something where there's not a lot of back and forth, it's just showing a simple task, but it takes time. Why not just do it once in a video and then I can just share the video with them. So that is where uh, I need to set up exactly what training it is I want to do. And then I'm going to break it down. I'm going to start making some videos, baby. So that's something that if I'm looking at a day and I'm like, man, I got a day full of just gaps. I'll fill it with some stuff that's sitting down here. Uh, on the bottom. So that's done. So when I get done with this video, uh, I'm going to hop off and I'm literally going to save it and I'm going to hit print. And that's my day, baby. I'm done. So I'm pretty excited, guys. Listen, I've been BSing with you the whole time, moving pretty slow. It took me 34 minutes. Uh, when I do this myself, it takes like 12 to 15 minutes, right? Because I'm flying. Yvonne, I am so impressed with your streamlined process. You've taken systemization to a higher level. Thanks for sharing. You're the sweetest lady in the world, man. I love you. Anytime I need an ego boost, man, I'm just going to bring you in. I appreciate that. All right, guys, that's all I got. Again, if you want any of these products, not that any of these were really you know, overwhelmingly amazing. It's literally Word and Excel. But if you don't want to waste your time recreating the wheel uh, or if there's things you want to steal, like I'm an open book. You can steal everything of mine. Um, it, it, my website, I had somebody ask about my website today. I said, dude, call up my crew, Webinate, out of Alabama, and just tell them, copy Joe Rosen's website and add all my real estate stuff in there. This is a competitor. 
I don't care, man. The way to live, forget about business. The way to live life is just help. Help people. And I'm telling you, it comes back tenfold. I appreciate you guys spending some time with me. If there's any way I can help you uh, with anything to include time blocking, do it. Get your freedom. If you're complaining about freedom, I just gave you the answer, man. Does it suck? Eh, It sucks for that 12, 15 minutes a day when I got to make it. But you know what's awesome is tomorrow, I don't have to think. I don't have to wonder. I don't have to weigh this decision versus this decision. It's done. I've already committed. The second I hit that print button in about four minutes when I shut up and I actually get off of here, it's done. I've committed to that day. And the next time I'm going to make a decision is that next 15 minute slot when I'm creating the next day. That's it. And when that little slot's done, I'm not thinking again. I'm done. So I'm literally thinking, man, my wife would agree with this, like 15 minutes a day. Um, And the rest of the day, I'm just doing. So yeah, I'll shut up with that. I think that was a good ending. You guys have an amazing night.